Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a young lady sent me this file, and she's having trouble right here, wanting to know how she could make this work and cut out, and she's working in millimeters, but this needs to be a hairline, so we're going to grab that object which she drew, and I'm going to change my nudge distance to 10, and I'm going to nudge this out of the way. Then I'm going to take this line and nudge it out of the way. Now, this is 0.18 millimeters. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Okay, there's the, that's why I don't like when somebody sends me a file and why I have mine set for 0, 0, because you need that to be put right back on top. So control D and make a duplicate. We're going to nudge it over. And then we're going to nudge control D and make a duplicate of this. That doesn't really matter. This is going to be our cut line. So I'm going to grab this and turn it into a red hairline. And I'm going to make it a hairline. I'm going to take this and turn it into a red hairline. She is using RGB, so that's good. And then make it a hairline. Because that's going to be our cut line. And then, there's a number of ways you could do this, but just take your virtual segment delete key and just delete that. And then delete it till you get nothing. Now, there's you could weld that, but I like using the Smart Fill tool. Fill that in. Now, let's nudge it down. And left click, right click, and that's in millimeters, but I don't know what that actually is. So I'm going to make it back to hairline. Now we can delete this other one. And then I would take this and make it all black. Because you want it to engrave. And we're going to, we're going to leave it at the 18 millimeters, but we're going to make it black. Because you want that engraved. Because if you don't, you've got these broken lines that'll be right on the cut line. I would think it would look better if it was all together. So now we can nudge this over. And that is your engraved line, but we don't really need this bottom part. But what we can do is take the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines we do not need, it will stop on your lines. So we still have an outline around the dinosaur that makes it look a little bit better. I think it actually deleted one right here. Let's back up here. Yep. So, and that one, see, that one does have a line there. So that will work. Let's delete it right there. There we go. That'll work. And delete that. And you would want to look at this, young lady, to make sure everything is good. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that you're going to be cutting it right on that line. So now let's nudge our new path or cut path right on top. And let's go to effects and contour. And let's just contour to the outside. 0 0.005. It just gives us a little bit of a contour. You could go a little bit thicker than that. Let's back up. Let's go 0 0.001 or 0 0.1. Just not okay. 0 0.01. Hit apply. That's good. Go to effects or go to arrange. Break contour apart. Grab the inside one and delete it. Make this a hairline for sure. Yes, it is. But we're going to make it red. Just because that way you can always identify it as a hairline. And then just nudge it back. Now you have a hairline around this object. 
And you all really don't need this other line. So let's back up here. Around the Benjamin, you don't need this line anymore. Let's delete that. Take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. Now let's bring that back in. And you're going to have a cut line just on the outside of that. In acrylic, this would look really good. And that should be good to go. I'm actually going to send you this file. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.